Hey everyone, Andrew here from FC Scoot Riders. I'm going to do a little bit of a follow up video on the Dragon Hurricane here. Um, this has been really fantastic. Hey, what's going on? Stop. What? What? Are you, what? What? It's what? not your scooter, Dad. It's my scooter. Oh, what? This one? Is that what we yes. Is that why you got it there? Yes. Alright, folks. We're not doing a re review on Hurricane today. Millie's going to do a review on her little kid's Segway E8 Zing scooter. Kilometers, eh? And the best thing I like about it is the cruise mode, because it's a kick to start and 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 the speed max is 40 kilometers per yeah. hour. I like the turbo mode too. Mm, what's the turbo mode do? So the turbo mode gets you full full throttle. Yeah, turbo mode lets you use that throttle there, hey? Yes, and and it and you can slow it. The speed down to. Yeah, you can go at the speed that you want to. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't really work on 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 the foot brake. You have to, if you want to slow down quickly, you, you use to you use the hand hand brake and foot brake. It, it Very took good. it took me a little while to use the handle brake, and I kept mm. on using this, and it. Good way to eight, at eight kilos and and pretty easy to fold up when you when you're traveling with it. So yeah, folds yeah. up pretty neat, doesn't it? Yeah. Do you want to show us how it folds down? So you see this little tab here. You put you you put your foot down some and you give it a bit of a wiggle. It's a bit tricky for your kids, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Oh, got it. And, and you see this down. little kick here, it, and you see this little panel here on 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 the foot brake. Yep. You just click it in. You put this down. You click that into there. Yep. And it's easy to lift for. So now I'm going to show you the modes on the skater. Let's go. So show us how you turn it on, Mills. So this button here and. That's your yeah. power button, isn't it? Yes. Yep. So you just press it and then it turns on then. What's what's that mode? So this is mode one. Yep. Safety mode. Safe mode? Yeah, so, so this yeah. is this is the one that will just have the kid they just push the scooter and it just goes up to a maximum of ten kilometers. So it's really good for the learning mode. Um, what's the next mode? So you, you just that one. So you just tap it again. Press it again. Yep. So then there's two beeps so you know which mode you're on. Yep. So this is cruise mode where you just where you just push it, just push it once and then and then you can keep on pushing it to the mo to yeah. the speed that you like. So you, you give it a bit of a kick push like a normal normal scooter. Yeah. And then the motors will just kick in and then they'll keep you at the speed that you kick at. So it's very safe. The throttle's not engaged in this mode. So this is another safety feature of this scooter. So it's very safe for the kids. And then they just hit the brake or to stop and yeah. turn it off. What's your third mode? So this you is just, an exciting mode, isn't it? Yeah. So you just tap it again. Then, then, then it. Um, yeah, it's flashing faster, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so and then you. Yeah. So that lets you know you're in turbo mode, hey? Yes. Yeah, so this is when you when you use this. Throttle. Yep. And, and it this. doesn't kick on now, does it? No, because you no. actually you actually have to push it first. Yeah, good yep. safe feature, isn't it? Yeah, because because if if you if you accidentally bump the throttle and and it and it does and um and it's not. Off, and it, Dad's done that plenty of times. Yes. Yes, that's a very good feature that. So that yeah. so you, your kids won't be able to push that. It's still on its mode there. It's still in mode three, 
until you get to a certain speed with the kicking and yeah, then the right. throttle can engage and then the child can set their own speed via the throttle and learn how to ride the scooters with the electronic throttle. Yes. That's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, so this is a really safe scooter with all three modes mm. of safety because if you're pretty silly like that, you, you probably will break something. Gee, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we wear our safety gear, isn't it, when we go out for a good bush ride, yeah. yeah. Yep, we always wear a helmet. You've got a full face helmet, I've got a full face helmet. It's very important, scooter safety and how to ride them and learning to ride them. Very important. Yep, well done. So, now you know all the three, three riding modes. And now I'm going to tell you about the charging indicator. So this green button here is the charging indicator. So when it's green, you you can ride, and when it turns orange, it's time to head head back head back to home. And when it's red, then then you better stop riding and and walk at home. Yeah, it protects the battery, isn't it? Because yeah. that's telling you that it's really low. Okay. So, so what's that little lighting bolt there for, Mills? So yep. you open this little tab and you plug plug the charging put in there and and there's a red and green mode so red is charging and and green is you're good to go to ride. Yeah, it's fully charged, eh? Yeah. How long does it take to charge up? So it takes four hours. No worries, that's a pretty good description and a rundown on the little Segway E8. Now it's time to have a nice ride in the wetlands. Yeah. Woo!